Race number six, it is the trophy race of Wednesday nights. Good field coming up here too for the French May Trophy, a class three over the 1,000 metres. Toronado Phantom has the pacifiers coming off. Harmony and Blessed is a three-time course and distance winner. Gorgeous Vitality, cheek pieces go on, drops of God, pacifiers off. Season's Wick gets a weight turnaround on Harmony and Blessed. Atomic Energy's won his last two, first time in this grade for him. Kakoshi Musu is back from the 1200 to the 1000 and High Rise Soldier. Class drop last time, winner over Travel Golf, draws barrier number four. And Dylan Moe takes a couple of pounds off Nick. Yeah, likely to go pretty quick in this as well. It's a 1000 metre dash. Lightning Storm, who um, came back fresh up last time with an excellent run behind Harmony and Bless. So quite a few of these have met before, uh, but we know Lightning Storm likes to draw nine though, so a little bit of a, a sticky gate. He got the same gate last time, but did manage to get forward. Uh, Harmony and Bless, he was the winner, of course, of that race. He won't be a million miles away. He's drawn on the inside. Uh, of Lightning Storm, so expect them both to be almost joined at the hip there. Uh, Harmony Fire is another one uh, who likes to go forward, drawn one, so he's well placed. And Atomic Energy, well, he's racing extremely well, and um, he's drawn in 10, so um, interesting to see where he gets to. Yeah, he'll be hoping that there's a little bit of pace on Will uh, Angus Chung and uh, hopefully the gaps can open up for uh, him. But Lightning Storm, we know he's got uh, plenty of early toe. Uh, Harmony and Blessed, uh, he's uh, been able to win a recent trial since uh, and uh, Harmony Fire had pretty much the trail that last time out and every chance there and carries the same weight this time around. It is an interview to start race number six, those seasons with us the horse. Nick spoke to his trainer, Jamie Richards. Season's Wits is one of uh, a number of fancied runners uh, from your stable on paper this Wednesday night. Um, he's yet to win one in Hong Kong, but he's gone perilously close. Yeah, he has. He's been running well. Um, probably his best two starts have been around the corner there at Happy Valley over 1,000. Uh, and he seems to like the, the shorter trips. He's by Capitalist, and he's obviously doing a good job up here. So um, he's trialled up well. And between times, again, we've just been spacing his races out like we like, we like to. And he's got a, a nice draw just to hopefully camp behind the leaders there and be given his chance. Has he done well in that, in that month between his runs? He's a horse with a good constitution. He's pretty straightforward. Um, he was gelded before he arrived. He, he was a little bit above himself when he arrived, but he's really settled into the routine well and acclimatised well, and looking forward to seeing how he goes on Wednesday night. It's, uh, we're racing on the sea course, so barrier three is certainly no detriment. Oh. Well, he's got good, good barrier speed, so he can be right up there on the pace or just behind the pace if they want to go fast, but we'll leave that up to Zach. He, he did close well from back in the field last time. I, I just be inclined to sort of ride him a little bit like that again if possible, but um, ultimately, We'll just have to see what happens when the barriers open. A common denominator with a lot of your chances on Wednesday night is a certain Zach Purton. Um, I read an article this week, you're obviously doing all you can to, to throw a bit of weight behind his, his bid to, to get this record. It'd um, be nice to try and tick a few off Wednesday night, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, <laughs> when we seem to have him booked for a few things, don't really go our way. But um, anyway, hopefully we can hopefully we can get a couple up for, or he can get a couple up for us on, uh, on Wednesday night. But... Um, you know, you've got to give yourself the best chance to win, don't you? And, and by doing that, you, you know, look for the best jockeys. And thankfully, Zach's been riding well for the stable and um, enjoyed a good relationship with him. So long may it continue. Jamie Richards and the seasons. With there plenty of horses in this race come out of the replay in the interview, Nick. One that doesn't is Atomic Energy aiming for the hat trick. Yeah, look, I'm a big fan of this horse, actually. He's, um, he's done me a turn in the past, or one of those recent wins, anyhow. And um, look, he's got a bit more weight to, to carry here. He's going up, uh, well, I say he's got a bit more weight. They've put him up six, but he is up in grade, so he will carry less, of course. But um, look, things do get tougher from here on in. Ace Talent comes out of this race last time. He's a winner since, and um, he's had a trial as well, Tom. In fact, he's had a couple of trials. He's just going to need that little bit of luck as from that uh, wide draw of barrier 10 because he's been able to win from barriers 2 and 5 so he'll just be looking to tuck in and uh, try and squeeze in somewhere if he doesn't it's going to be it's going to be tough from out there I think Finally Tom some track work around Toronado Phantom he's a horse that's only had one go over the thousand metres what do you make of the Greys chances in this? Yeah he pulled up with uh, blood on the track here last uh, time out I've, I've tipped him his last few runs and he's been a little disappointing behind Victor the winner um, Adios thousand metres that does worry me a little bit. Yeah I, d I thought the five furlongs was probably a little bit on the sharp side for him as well. All right wait till he goes back up in a distance Toronado Phantom this is a good field but Tom. It certainly is uh, I do like the lightly tried uh, however Mark uh, seasons a wit to hear off what he's done so far. Like the way he finished off last uh, time out behind Harmony and Bliss, closing off late, and he's uh, trialled well since. So, six to beat four, Lightning Storm. That was a great run from him first up because he was carrying a, a lot of extra condition. He's dropped 16 pounds for this. May have to do a little bit of work early from Barrier 9. Harmony and Bliss, another one that's trialled well off the back of winning, and Atomic Energy just needs some luck from uh, Barrier 10. Six, four, two, and seven.
Yeah, a bit the same as far as the top selection goes here. I think he's the way to uh, to work the race around season's wit. He's he's very lightly raced. He's improving with every run, and I think it's only a matter of time before he's able to win one. Hopefully, it's Wednesday night. Uh, Lightning Storm. He's got a good second up record. He's one from one. Um, good to see him come back last time with a good uh, effort um, at 15 to one behind Harmony and Blessed. I uh, give him a, a decent chance. He's actually dropped 16 pounds as well, so would have tightened up for that effort. Atomic Energy. Look, it's going to be tricky for him, but uh, he's clearly got talent and. Uh, another one, a bit like the uh, the top selection here, lightly raced and harmony and blessed. Uh, he's been around uh, a little while, this fellow, but he was uh, he was good last time, and um, he has got good form on on both C and C plus three courses. So should like the uh, the nature of the track six four seven two. And the favourite putters, the early favourite putters, agree with the boys because season's wit has come up three point one.